Hide sign for another math. Easy solution. Let's discuss uh, just a quick proof for this trigonometric identity right here, which is the integral of tan x just equals to ln of secant of x and then plus c. Basically, to prove this, we're going to use the substitution rule for integrals. You can see the proof of that in a video link below as well as some examples. So the first thing to do in uh, solving or proving this identity is to write this basically, uh, simplify this or expand this tan of x, write it by using the definition. So we can write it as basically this integral of tan x equals 2 integral of sine of x divided by cos of x. It's just basic definition of tan of x. You can see more on this in the video link below in a description about trigonometry. This is when we have this part. So now we could use substitution and simplify this and basically let u equals to cos of x. Just because it's a divided by cos x here, we want to simplify it by putting a u there. And, and also the reason for this is when we take the derivative of this, so du or the differential will get basically negative sine of x. That's the derivative of cos x. You see proof of that also in the video link below. And always put the d of x here. So now we have the sine dx. Uh, if we write that out in terms of du, we'll get basically sine x dx. This just equals to negative du. Yeah, negative uh, du over here. So now we can just basically plug in everything back into this function. So we'll get basically equals to the integral of now we'll have a one over uh, one over u, and then this uh, dx uh, sine sine x dx that's negative du. So we can put the negative out here. Now we'll have a du over here. So now we can just basically find the the integral of this or the antiderivative of one over u. And that is actually, if you see a video link below on antiderivatives, that is just the derivative to get to this is basically ln of x right here. I mean ln of u. Actually, I'll get rid of that integral sign. Now this is the final answer. So this will be ln, it's going to be absolute value of u right here. Yeah, and the reason is absolute value because you can't have a ln of a negative number. So we just put this out to make it positive. So we have this part here. And then it's all like always, uh, we have to basically yeah add a constant, so plus c. So now we could even simplify this part further by using our uh, basically logarithmic properties and writing this as equal to ln absolute value of u to the power of negative uh, one right here. So this is a negative one in front or a negative in front. We just bring this and put it as a power to here, so plus c. So we'll have this part here. And this actually just flips this to, uh, this would be 1 divided by u. So if we plug it in, we'll just basically get equals to, actually we'll even go further in, in here, be ln of absolute value 1 over u, and then plus c. So we have this part, and the reason we have this is once we plug in the cos of x back inside, we'll get ln of absolute value 1 over cos of x right here, plus c. And then this obviously is definition by definition equal to secant of x. So we'll just write that down right here, secant of x, and then plus c. And there is our answer right here, and that's the uh, basically this identity. And also, like always, you can double check this by taking the derivative. So we take the derivative of d over dx of this ln, the ln secant x plus c right here. So we take the derivative of this one. This will get basically just ln the derivative of that is going to be 1 divided by secant of x. And now the derivative of a secant of x, like I showed in my earlier video, that's just going to be, well, because using chain rule, so you got the derivative of this one as well. So tan x, yeah, tan x, and then times it by secant of x. So this is just a derivative of secant of x. And then the derivative of a constant is 0, so that just leaves it at 0. Then this cancels right here. And we'll be left with equals to tan of x right here. And this is uh, correct. And this is basically what was inside the integral initially. So this is a good way to double check. So anyways, that's all for today. Uh, and I hope you learned from this video. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the video links below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.